before we see how well the WinForce 3X cooling system performs uh, in terms of noise performance. Uh, let's take a look at how it works. See here, uh, right in the middle, of course, it stands out that there are these copper heat pipes. These are 8 millimeter copper heat pipes that are directly in contact with the GPU core. You can see where the thermal paste is left in there. And of course, it distributes that uh, to another set of fin array here at the end where, uh, of course, it can be cooled by three fans on top blowing it. And if you look closely, and then you will see the tri triangle uh, designed by Gigabyte, which actually just helps dissipate the, the air faster here on both sides. And uh, it's much more efficient, especially when cooling a direct heat pipe cooling system. And uh, also note that there's this large metal plate in here with these thermal pads. Of course, these are the uh, heat sinks for the memory itself. Not many video card offers heatsink for the memory and uh, they just rely on the active cooling provided by the top fan so that is interesting to see that gigabyte has uh, went all the way to design this uh, the cooling system and uh, see this is also the uh, four pin pwm module of course you need four pin to have uh, more accurate steps whenever you're uh, increasing or decreasing your uh, your fan speed to of course, eliminate the noise sort of like uh, more jarring changes and this one is actually not exactly part of the uh, WinForce 3X cooling system but this is uh, the VRM cooling see in there that, that it is full five phases and there's a large thermal pad right across that so, all right now we have seen what the WinForce 3X cooling system and the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 670 looks like we are now going to test the fan noise coming from that cooling system. This is Gigabyte's OC Guru program. Unfortunately, uh, this doesn't fully support the new GeForce Kepler cards yet, but uh, we, it would be uh, suitable for our fan speed uh, adjustment test. So you can see there that it is uh, right now 36 degrees and uh, the fan speed is an auto, that's 24%. I'm going to um, have the card about 21 inches from the camera and I am it's, it's, it is actually inside an NZXT H2 silent case so I am going to minimize the fan speed uh, of this case to the lowest so the fan speed or the fan noise from the GTX 670 stands out you can hear it comparison and uh, there you go and as you can see the temperature will rise uh, soon because it, our our system is running hotter but uh, of course we should, this is just the fan speed test and it should focus here and uh, right now we have it at 24 25 degrees I'm going to set it to manual and uh, increment it by 10 percent until you can hear it and take a look at the GPU temperature here if uh, rather the GPU temperature of course and the fan speed but the GPU temperature won't be uh, the same as our result when uh, on a standard test because right now I don't have the room climate control. This is strictly just for the fan speed test. So right now, we start with 25% and manual mode. Still fairly quiet, 35. Now you can begin to hear it at 45% fan speed. Uh, that is actually the highest fan speed I've I've gotten was 47 degrees. But as you can as you can hear, it's not the kind of noise that is high pitched. It's a different kind of noise the shape of the fan really helps with uh, the result of the the wind coming out of it it's not uh, it's not the whistling kind and uh, especially inside the case it's I, I can barely hear it over the uh, the fans of the CPU and the uh, case fans itself of course we'll try to push forward beyond that to sorry 50 for now
and from here on out what you, uh, from previous experience of course you, you will see that the uh, fan noise becomes significantly louder once it reaches a certain threshold that so as we've seen 45 degrees rather 45 percent here's 60 percent uh, and this is typically what a not what a reference speed sounds like from a video card not the GTX 670 reference since I have not tried that yet but from brief experience the GTX 580 usually sounds around this around this level whenever you uh, under heavy load so the GTX 670 with a WinForce 3X is still significantly quieter and uh, from testing it never reached the 60% needed it never needed to it was just at, at, at 47% it was actually uh, the highest temperature was also 70 degrees around that 67 70 degrees depending on the program here we have at 70 percent and of course uh, everything beyond uh, 50 percent is academic since uh, Since 47 was the highest I've reached, uh, the fan percentage we reached. Okay, as you can see at this point, it is significantly louder. It pretty much sounds like a turbine. This, this, at this point, it sounds like a the, the HD6990, which was a dual GPU card. And uh, now I'm going to hit default and you'll actually let me just hit auto apply and you notice that it doesn't immediately go down it, it uh, that's that's part of the fan the fan design it gradually goes down and goes up step by step unless you do it manually that's why it, uh, it doesn't have the sudden noise uh, doesn't it doesn't generate the sudden noise movement compared to other fans see here the graph showing the GP usage that's, the, that's how long it takes before it gradually goes down to the normal levels of course it goes both ways it goes down slowly and it also goes up slowly and uh, well it effectively cools anyway uh, so it doesn't matter if in, even if it doesn't kick in a like a significant 10% uh, speed bump uh, in fan speed change immediately so that's not really a problem as you saw in our if you click on our review our full review you can see the full temperatures and our uh, even our overclock numbers didn't exceed beyond 70 and the maximum of the maximum temperature of the GTX 670 reference is uh, 98 degrees so that's uh, that's still fairly healthy all right now let's go back to the rest of the review and you can read my conclusion and if you haven't read the benchmarks you can go to either click on the link down below for the full review you can go to hightechlegion.com or subscribe to our youtube channel at youtube.com slash hightechlegion leave us a comment questions and again thanks for watching and see you next time